Well, good morning and welcome to a beautiful day. The clocks went back last night. It's a lovely day. We're expecting sunshine all day. I think this is a good day to test our off-grid backup. So what we're going to do is we're going to throw the main breaker. We're going to take the house completely off-grid and let's make sure that our backup works. For those of you in IT, you might know that there's an old phrase that says a backup that isn't tested isn't a backup at all. So today we're going to run our monthly test to make sure that our off-grid backup works, that the house continues to operate as we would expect, and we'll see what happens. So let's head round to the side of the house and we will uh, give it a test. So let's get the mains cabinet unlocked. And in here, you'll see here we've got our master breaker. This is the whole house cutoff. This allows me to completely isolate the house from uh, the, the grid just by flicking that switch. Now obviously for this to work there are some other components that need to be a part of the system. Firstly we've got our Solar Edge backup interface here. And if I move in closely you can see there we've got a little green light at the top that says we're on grid. We also have obviously the inverter in the garage and then down here on the floor underneath this little inspection hatch is our earth rod so that once the house is isolated from the grid we're no longer relying upon the grid to provide an earth for us. So there really is nothing less to do except throw the switch. Now I don't know if you heard that clunk then, that was the system falling over into backup mode. So you can see that the little green light is on and that means the house is now running in backup mode. So once the system goes into backup mode, that means that uh, some things in the house aren't gonna work. Here's a great example. So as you can see here, here is one of our zappies. The zappy is completely dead. And that is because it's not on our critical circuits. If I head back into the garage, you'll have to excuse the mess. We're in the middle of remodeling everything, but here's the inverter. Um, everything's running quite nice. It's a little difficult to see, but the status lights under there show everything is running as we would expect um, in off-grid mode. Now let's take a quick walk into the house. There's Bear. And just check that everything is working. So here is uh, here's what we've been remodeling as if we put a proper roof on our conservatory. And here are two clocks. So the iPad has been running all this time. Hello, Yogi. Um, as you can see, this clock is correct, even though the power went out. This clock is an hour forward because obviously the clocks went back last night. And even though this is a very modern microwave, it still doesn't know how to update its time. So the way this would normally work is that you would get a notification from the app to tell you that the grid's gone down, but everything's fine, don't worry, we're running on the, the batteries and it will actually show me how much capacity we have in the batteries and estimate on our current usage as to how much time we've got left. Now we're gonna leave this to run for about an hour and then I'm gonna head back and I'm gonna bring the house back on the grid. Okay, it's been about an hour. We've been running successfully off the batteries. Um, like I say, apart from the car chargers, which we turn off during a power outage, if we need to charge during a power outage, we can always go to a public charger but we don't want the cars accidentally draining the batteries whilst the grid is down. So let's head back around the side and let's bring the grid back online. As you can see, the dogs uh, find the nice shady parts of the garden to lie in. <laughs> Normally we find them down here by the side of the house. But, uh, let's head back outside. And then again, there is our main switch. We will turn that back on. Oh, just heard the switch clunk over and you see the little green light on the top says we are back on the grid and I can hear probably doesn't show up on this microphone but the zappy is just rebooted off to my left there so let's get it all buttoned up and that's it we're back on the grid so that's it really simple the grid goes down we fail over automatically onto the batteries we run off the batteries for as long as we need to do and when the grid comes back, we automatically go back to the grid. Super simple, super easy to use, requires no real sort of human intervention whatsoever. I hope this has been useful. If it has been, please do click the like and subscribe below. And if I'm lucky, 
I'll see you back here real soon for another video. Take care. Bye-bye.